Hey everybody, thanks for joining me outside in the perimeter garden. Uh, today I'm going to be preparing a little section of soil and planting some seedless cucumbers. Uh, I already have four hills of zucchini planted going that direction, spaced about two foot apart. So let me just quickly uh, hoe up a section of this and we're going to plant a couple of hills of cucumbers. It doesn't take very many cucumbers to provide for this family. I find if I plant more than two to three hills, we just have a lot to go to waste. So let me uh, make quick work of this and we'll get to planting. I got a hoe and a rake and a shovel, but we're gonna see if we can just kind of gently hoe it up and if, uh, if we can get by with that. I like to have all my tools ready because you never know which garden implement it's gonna take to get the job done. I'd already turned this over with the shovel a few weeks ago in a separate video and I just had let it lay fallow since then. And basically since I dug it the only thing that had happened is some stuff had creeped in from the grass line and a few of those whirly birds had settled in. But those are quickly taken care of. Okay, so here's our zucchini. I want to give them plenty of room to grow out. So figure about, so I got my zucchini planted here. The leaves are going to come to about here. So I'm going to start right in here is what I'm going to figure. And since I'm doing two hills, I'll need to come down just a little bit more to make sure they got plenty of room to run. And of course, I'll, pro I'll try to, I'll train them up this chain link fence. So I'm gonna plant the seeds closer to the fence. I'm just wanting to make sure I get all this broke up, extra grass removed, give these seeds the best chance they can have at really taking off. And then as I cultivate later in the season, that'll give me plenty of room to, to do so. Okay, got the ground all hoed up, bring my rake. I just put it backward, upside down, and I just smooth it over. That's gonna remove the big clods without disturbing too much. I just rake it on down the line. I'll come back later with my five gallon bucket. I'll pull those clods and uh, I'll put them in the compost pile. Okay, got seed packets in my pocket planting green dragon burpless cucumber from Haas Seed 50 day maturity. Row spacing doesn't matter because we're only doing a single row. It says to plant a half inch deep, 12 inches apart. I'm gonna do two seeds per. I'm gonna come two feet over from the cucumber or from the zucchini. And then I'm just gonna come up here close to the fence. And I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna put three seeds and I'm gonna gently cover those up and then I'm gonna immediately come in with a stick. And that's just gonna show me where I planted for watering purposes. I'm gonna come over about a foot. And I'm gonna do another indention. I'm gonna drop three more seeds. I've went over in several of my videos, the number the number one thing you can control to, and uh, gives you the best success for starting seeds directly in the garden is good moisture. I'm not covering these up with anything. I'm not going to use my germination frame or anything like that. These seeds should come up pretty good. Cucumbers usually, they usually pop up pretty good. So I'm not worried about that. This soil stays pretty moist over here, so I don't really need to cover it up like I did the watermelons. The main reason I did the watermelons is those seedless variety seeds are pretty pricey. Uh, these cucumber seeds, not so much. So that's gonna give me three. I went ahead and did three hills. And I didn't, you seen, I call it a hill, but I don't actually hill them up when I plant. I just planted them I didn't hill up the soil pre-planting. 
I went about a half inch deep, about 12 inches apart. You can see I didn't measure. You know, if it's 12, 13, 14 inches, it's okay. It's not gonna be a big deal. You don't have to bring a ruler out in the garden. You know, just kind of go with it. As long as you're about a foot apart, you're gonna be fine. The next step is watering these in, giving them about five days. They should start to top up. Since I put three seeds per hole, once those three seeds emerge and they're all looking healthy, I'm gonna thin them down to two. If you leave all three, they're gonna kinda overcrowd themselves and you're gonna have a higher probability of disease issues and uh, it's gonna lower your production. There's just gonna be too much greenery. Your pollinators aren't gonna be able to get in there. So these are my tips for growing cucumbers. Get out in the garden and plant you some today. It's not too late, it's the middle of May. You got plenty of time to get you some cucumbers growing in the garden. Nothing better than a fresh cucumber. Have a great day and thanks for